As the average lifespan of women grows longer, one third of the living years of a woman are spent after her menopause. This turning point in life can be seen as a new beginning, but what awaits middle-aged women facing menopause might be menopausal disorders. As the sun repeatedly shines on a tree and inadvertently changes it, we cannot help but relegate ourselves to the changes time and nature cause our bodies. Simply put, menopause is an inevitable process of change which we must adapt to. But according to oriental medicine, if we can thoroughly manage abnormalities to our body due to menopausal change, it can become a tonic for life. Today we will look into the changes, the causes, the prevention and the treatments of female menopausal disorders. Generally, women who experience menopause stop having their periods as the function of the ovaries degenerate. Hormone secretions decrease and several particular symptoms start to appear. In oriental medicine, this phenomenon is considered to be the result of the exhaustion of umgi or female ki and the activation of yang ki or male ki. In other words, um is reduced and yang is multiplied and the harmony of the body is destroyed. As a result, organs related to the female sexuality, that is, the organs belonging to the urinary and reproductive systems, begin to degenerate. Also, as a result of the relatively increased amount of yangi, empty heat, or hutyar, is generated, the mucus of the body drives up, leaving the body more prone to diseases. These diseases are due to the drying up of the umgi and moisture and insufficient mucus in the body. First, Facial flushing is due to a relatively overflow of yangi, and the symptoms are fever and redness in the face, head, neck, and back. And drying skin is caused by lack of moisture in the body. Oshipgyan, meaning the 50s creak, is a symptom where the joints harden and the shoulders don't move properly. This is because mucus and lubricants pass out of the bones. Osteoporosis is a disease that occurs when there is not enough mucus in the joints. Together with dryness in the vagina and pain during sexual intercourse, these are all classical cases of menopausal disorder and the result of a breakdown in the harmony between um and yang. Many social and physical changes occur in a woman after her 40s. Socially, her children marry and leave their nest. This may result in feelings of emptiness, depression, or lack of zest setting in. The most common case is depression and is accompanied by sudden nervousness and palpitations. Oriental medicine calls this huakbyong, which means anger disease. It is also caused by strains on an already weakened heart due to imbalance between yin and yang. Menopause is a time when the body lacks mucus, causing hoyo, meaning empty heat. To relieve hoyo, danchi soyosan is prescribed. It resolves ghee that has crowded into the liver, thus creating warmth. Soyosan is combined with mokdanpi and chija to make danchi soyosan. Soyosan helps blood circulation and replenishes blood. Mokdan pi and chija relieve ho yo. To replenish mucus, ji bek ji huang tang is prescribed. Ji bek ji huang tang is made of yuk mi, ji mo, and huang bek. Yuk mi includes suk ji huang, which replenishes um gi in the kidneys and sanya. Ji Mo and Huang Bek are especially effective in strengthening the function of the kidneys. If we examine the various symptoms of menopause, then we can get a feel for the deep psychological atrophy that many women experience. But this can be overcome through continuous treatment and prevention. First, let's look at the oriental medical treatments of maxibustion and acupuncture for menopausal disorders. For the treatment of articular disorders such as oshipgyan and osteoporosis, acupuncture is applied directly to the areas of pain such as the knee, waist, or shoulder. Acupuncture resolves block ki and helps ki circulation.
For quick relief of pain, medicinal acupuncture is used. This is a method whereby the pure essence of herbs are directly injected into the acupuncture point. The essence supplements key in our body and acts as a lubricant to facilitate the body's organization. Medicinal acupuncture is also applied to patients with facial flushing and fevers. It is usually applied to the kyun jung hyo in the shoulders and is effective for relieving fevers. Next, the areas where acupuncture was applied is cauterized to extract toxins from the body. And as a part of physical therapy, the method of interferential therapy stimulation is used and this too has detoxifying effects. For menopausal disorders, the point where moxibustion is applied is the Kwan Wan Hyo, which is located in the spot below the navel called Tanjin. This is the spot that gathers ghee in the body. Applying moxibustion in this area will replenish ghee and treat inflammation in the knee and other joints. These days, there are many cases where Western and Oriental medicine work together to cure menopausal disorders. A good example, a physical therapy treatment called Aqua PT. This method involves massaging the whole body with the pressure of distilled water. It enhances blood circulation, relieves pain, and relaxes tense muscles. First of all, include black beans, anchovies, and milk in your diet. Black beans are rich in natural estrogen and therefore useful in preventing, as well as treating, menopausal disorders. As for physical activity, simple gymnastics, rope skipping, and taking walks are all good forms of exercise. Rope skipping and walking supplies the bones with appropriate amounts of pressure and are very effective forms of exercise for the prevention of calcium deficiency in the joints. To maintain good health during menopause, it is good to get into the habit of drinking green tea and date tea. This clears the blood, strengthens the heart's functions, and calms the mind. Also, eat low-fat foods such as fish, beans, bean curd, and spinach in order to prevent obesity. It is very important to watch your weight. Obesity not only becomes the cause of many other geriatric diseases, it also reduces hormone secretion. The symptoms of menopause, which you must especially be wary of, are depression and pessimism. Just as we prepare for old age by saving money and also by taking care of our health, we must guard our mental health from a young age in order to prevent menopausal disorders. We must recognize our changes and we must also cope positively with the affecting environment. This has been Oriental Medical Digest. We'll hope to see you again.